Yo what's up guys, in this video I will teach you how to make these really cool looking motion graphic animations in After Effects and yeah we have these circle burst animations, these line burst animations and these simple lines which are all really essential for any kind of motion graphics and yeah as I said they are super simple so I'd say let's just go into our new composition and let's actually start with the line burst animation right here in the middle so yeah, first of all let's go to this little setting here and activate the proportional grid setting so we can kind of see where the center is and yeah, let's select this tool right here, the pen tool and let's go just go to the center, a little bit to the right on this, yeah, on this line and just put in yeah, one point here then press shift to make a straight line and just go to the outside just like this and yeah now we just have one single line, let's open this up real quick and we already can deactivate the proportional grid and yeah, let's open up the content of the shape layer and let's first of all open up the stroke and change the color for this example so we have a nice contrast to the background so let's make it a bit darker and let's also turn up the stroke brightness to whatever you like I think, yeah, something like 15 should good look maybe, or maybe, yeah, that's too much, let's go with 10, and yeah, this is cool, let's animate this real quick, so let's also, yeah, go to add right here, and add a trim paths effect, just like this, and we can just bring this right after the stroke, just like this, and yeah, let's animate this, so let's go to the beginning of our animation, and bring down the end to zero, and then just go forward like one and a half seconds and bring the end up to 100%. So now we have this, yeah, a little bit boring animation. So let's change this real quick. So let's press the end keyframe or the end setting and open up the graph editor and click on it again and press the easy ease setting. Yeah, so we can just manipulate the curve. And yeah, let's select the first keyframe and just bring this up a bit. So now we can see this will go really fast at the beginning and then slow down just like a burst animation and yeah this is good but the line should also vanish so let's just go a little bit to the right so not at the beginning but a bit uh, over here and let's also put a keyframe at the start animation and go to the end again a bit more to the right and bring this up to 100 as well. And yeah, now we have this cool animation, but yeah, as you can see, we already, or we only have one line and we want more of these in a circle. And this is super simple, so we can just go to add and now add a repeater effect. And yeah, let's open this up, change a few settings. So let's open up the transform settings and yeah, by default the position will be set to 100 in here, but let's put this back to zero so yeah we don't yeah move the position but we can change the rotation so let's put in 60 on the rotation value just like this and yeah as we can see we have three of these because the copy setting is yeah by default three but if we change this to five or no to six we get this full yeah full circle animation so yeah, make sure to change the copies to 6 and the rotation to 60 degrees. And yeah, now we have this cool thing here. Of course, we can just press S on the keyboard to scale this to whatever you, we like. I like it to be a bit smaller, but this is completely up to you. And yeah, depending on how you place the yeah, trim path settings, you can decide how fast or slow it should be. So. If we bring the last two keyframes to the left, it will be faster. And yeah, we can just play around with this. Maybe bring back the start keyframe and the end keyframe. So we get this yeah really smooth animation. But yeah, you can just play around with these settings. This is basically up to you. But yeah, let's move on to the second one, which will be super easy. And let's make the, the circle bursts. So, yeah, let's just hide this layer for example and just make a new shape layer and open this up 
let's go to add and add a lips path and yeah also open this up and go to the beginning of our animation and let's change the size value to zero and put in a keyframe and then just go forward again one and a half seconds and bring this up to whatever you like something like this but now you can see there is nothing in here so we also have to go to add and add a stroke effect and let's again open this up and change the color to a dark gray and yeah now we can see this is super thin so let's just bring this up to something like 50 for example it will be a bit thicker but again you can see the animation is slow and a bit boring so let's change this also so let's go to our size again and press on it and again open up the graph editor and click on the size again and just open up the yeah or just press the easy ease effect again and yeah select the first keyframe and just bring this up as we did in the line burst animation so we have this yeah quick explosion effect but of course we don't want this circle to, to just stay here it looks stupid so yeah let's go to the stroke and exactly to the beginning and put in a keyframe at this value which you can define if you want it to be thicker you can just increase it or maybe decrease it but yeah let's go with 50 so let's put in 50 keyframe at the beginning and then go slightly before the end and put this down to zero so now we have this super smooth animation where the circle just fades away at the end and yeah i think this looks really cool and yeah we're already done with this one so let's just hide this again and go to our final element which is the line path right here and this one again is super simple let's just right click and add a new shape layer again and open this up and let's just select the pen tool right here and now we can just draw any line that we want so i'll just go with something like this and yeah open up the shape first of all let's open up the stroke again and change it to something like a dark gray and also increase the stroke brightness just like this and yeah to animate this you can also add the trim paths effect in here and yeah let's go to the beginning bring the end to zero put in a keyframe oh it wasn't exactly at the beginning but now it is and yeah then just go forward a few seconds depending on how long you want this to be and yeah we have this cool animation we of course can again go a bit to the right after the first keyframe and put in a yeah, start keyframe at 0% and then go again right after the last keyframe and put this up to 100 as well. So yeah, we have this really cool line effect. And yeah, you can also modify this line a bit. So maybe you can just go to stroke and change the line cap to round cap. So maybe you can see it, we now have these rounded caps which look really smooth and yeah there are a lot of really cool settings in here like the taper effect we just can change the end length so now we maybe have something like this which i think looks super cool or yeah you can just basically play around with any settings in here depending on how you want it to look like you can also yeah play around with these wave settings so you get a little bit of displacement in here which looks weird in this example but yeah it's completely up to you let's deactivate this again and yeah of course you can also just press ctrl d to duplicate these and rotate it for example by 180 degrees or just move the paths a bit so yeah you have a lot of freedom in here so yeah this is it for this tutorial thanks a lot for watching and see you next time